sure a lot of you must have seen different types of gels available in the market these days, right? I remember a couple of years back when aloe vera gel started selling in tubes and everyone could just talk about the aloe vera gel. It was such a hot product, including myself. Like, I was like, oh my god, you know, aloe vera gel in a tube, this is so handy, this is so great. Ever since then, a lot of different types of gels have also come up in the market. Pomegranate gel, papaya gel, orange gel, calendula gel, flowers, fruits, Everything has a gel these days and I think gels are such a fun addition to your beauty routine Now personally, I don't use gels every single day just once in a while when I want to massage my skin Improve blood circulation sometimes for extra hydration gels in general are really good And of course different gels have different properties and different uses So in today's video guys, I'm talking about different types of gels some gels can also be applied on the hair So I'll talk about that as well and uh, basically this is all about you know different types of gels and fun ways of using them If you want to use them as it is of course use it as it is but if if you want to add a little bit of jazz to your beauty routine this video will be a lot of fun for you to watch uh, as for the gels that I have with me I have five different gels all of these are from good Vibes because that's what I picked up if you want to use any other brand any other product that you have that you want to use feel free to use that I'm just sharing with you guys what I have if you use any other gel guys just basically you know I want to use good Vibes because the products are good and they're also affordable and I know a lot of my viewers are college going students who want affordable beauty products if you want to use some other gels some expensive brands please feel free to use whatever works for you that's completely fine as well so yes so uh, what are these fun different ways of using gel in your skincare routine how can you add them to your skincare routine well just keep watching this video guys to find out so first i want to talk about rose hip gel and how you can use it now rose hip gel in general in itself is great for hydrating your skin for plumping up your skin so if you have extremely dehydrated skin you can use it uh, interesting thing is that if you have oily skin you can still use rose, rose hip uh, gel just don't use too much okay so here's a really good way of using rose hip gel for giving your skin velvety smooth small, soft finish take a little bit of face mist and first wet your face with face mist make sure your skin is all clean when you're doing this and while the skin is still wet after using the face mist take a little bit of rose hip gel and just apply directly on the wet skin so basically what you're doing is you're massaging the face mist along with the gel into the skin and this is so great guys massage for about 30 to 40 seconds leave it on for about 2 to 3 minutes and then just wipe it all clean with a clean cotton pad that's all you have to do instantly guys trust me when you do this rose hip gel using with a, with a face mist instantly you will feel that your skin is looking so glowy so fresh so amazing so bright and this is a really cool routine so like you know sometimes when i'm about to film a youtube video and i'm just sitting on camera and i'm like okay my skin is not looking good and i don't want to use a foundation i just do this and it instantly makes my skin look so much better so try this out if you have rose hip gel or if you're thinking of trying out rose hip gel it's really good and uh, with a face mist it acts even better Next we have calendula gel. Now calendula gel is absolutely amazing for repairing your skin especially if you have uh, sun damaged skin. This can help you a lot. It also adds a little bit of moisture to the skin. So here's a really cool way of using calendula, calendula gel in your skincare routine. Take a little bit of calendula gel, mix it with almond oil and mix it like really well, whip it up sort of and uh, when you start doing this you will see that the consistency has changed into a more serum like consistency. Take this gel on your fingertips, massage, massage, massage and then wipe off the excess in about 30 to 40 seconds. Don't leave it on for too long. This is a really good routine. You can actually do this two to three times a week also if your skin is extremely sun damaged. Or if you don't have that kind of patience, if you don't want to make it a part of your regular routine, what you can do is, you know, when you step out from, like, when you step out in the sunlight and when you come back home and you realize that your skin has become all parched and dried because uh, sun damage can actually break your skin cells, it can harm, it can harm your skin cells and uh, when that happens, you know, it can actually make your skin look a lot more dry. So if that happens immediately after you come back home, you can actually do this thing and it will help your skin tremendously. Next, I'm going to talk about gold gel. Now, gold gel is something which I haven't seen a lot around, to be very honest. I think only Good Vibes has this product. But personally, I just love this gold gel because this is basically designed to be used as a mask. So if you want, you can also mix this with your regular face mask or use it as it is. Apply this all over your clean face, all over your clean neck. Massage, massage, massage. Leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes and then just wash it all off. Using this regularly will give your skin a very nice, even polished look. Like, uh, it, it just, like, you know, if you have uneven skin tone, which is um, looking really drab, 
this is something which can actually heal that beautifully and give your skin a beautiful polished look if you start doing this once a week you don't even have to go for facials because obviously your skin starts looking better behaving better and you don't need more polishing after this And of course guys I know a lot of you are waiting for me to talk about aloe vera gel because aloe vera gel is one of the most versatile gels however before i move ahead and talk about aloe vera gel in itself let me just give you guys a quick disclaimer aloe vera gel as amazing as it is and even though it's used very popularly a lot of people have a very bad reaction to aloe vera gel if you use aloe vera gel directly from the leaves also a lot of people tend to have a bad reaction so for me personally aloe vera gel suits me but like whenever i go for threading after threading you know if uh, they apply aloe vera gel around my eyebrows like right after threading which is going to soothe the skin it will lead to a massive breakout it suits me otherwise but not after threading so i just want to let you know that if you have seen something similar happen to yourself just keep a watch on your skin and see how your skin behaves having said that aloe vera gel is still absolutely amazing and you can use it on your hands and legs after waxing which is how i like to use it a lot i also use it on my face because it suits me but of course that's just me and aloe vera gel is something which can also be used on the head so here's a great way of using aloe vera gel on the head if you don't want to use it just as it is on the head just take a little bit of aloe vera gel aloe vera gel and uh, mix it really well with egg if you don't want to use egg you can also use curd this makes for a really cool hair pack and just apply it all over your head leave it up for about 30 minutes and then wash it all off with a mild shampoo this is something which you can do once a week for beautifully conditioning your hair it will uh, also help in dealing with split ends with frizziness so why not And last but not the least, I'll quickly tell you how to use tea tree gel that has a lot of uh, excess sebum production on the skin. So if you have a lot of blackheads or if you have a lot of uh, you know sebum clogging your pores, especially around this area, which happens to a lot of people, this is something which you can use really well. So just take a little bit of uh, tea tree gel, mix this with a little bit of warm water, massage this all over your skin really well, and then immediately after that, wash it all off with normal room temperature water. After doing that, take a few drops of neem oil, apply it as it is, and leave it on like this for the whole night. The next morning, when you wake up, you will see that your skin is looking so much more better because of these two steps. You know, first tea tree oil, sorry, tea tree gel, and then neem oil. It is so 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 great for the skin, guys. So, guys, those are all the fun DIYs, hacks, tricks with gels that I want to talk about in today's video. Of course, there are so many many other ways of using gels, including these gels. These same gels can be used in so many many other ways. So, if you have any fun hacks, any fun tricks up your sleeves please let me know in the comment section below how you like to use your gels with gel and what it does to your skin i would love to hear from you guys also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel turn on the bell icon for notifications guys and keep coming back to super style for more thank you so much for watching this is me prachi signing off now bye bye bye